Ahoy, ahoy, ahoy everyone. Ho, 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 holiday, hoy, everyone. I just, holiday, hoy. I really stretched that one out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You get Why not? every syllable out of it. Look at that. We're dressed for the winter. Look at this. I got Yeah, I've got my scarf on. Uh, with, by, by the green. way, I, yeah, I have a pretty awesome scarf, I have to say. So... Um, no, it's not really cold here. I mean, it's a little no. cold in our house, but we're, I mean, you know, we're having our, since this is our yeah. essentially Christmas show, we are going to, we figured we'd get a little bit yeah. dressed up. But yeah, so check it out. We got, um, this I got, um, for a while I was involved in this, um, Marvel uh, box thing and they sent cool stuff. And one year... Or one the when I when I had it around Christmas they sent this scarf and two awesome ornaments a Groot and a mm -hmm. Rocket Raccoon ornament for the tree, but yeah like little so almost see, like little pop ornaments right? yeah so this is a Funko Pop Guardians of the Galaxy scarf <laughs> there you go and it has the it has the little the cast on both sides but then the magic is on the other side. It's <laughs> it's Groot growing out of a flower pot, which I am super a hundred percent into. That's the team we're rooting for, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my goodness, there we go. Can you tell uh, we're in the hol the holiday spirit? Indeed. Shane Levan. Oh, thank oh you, my Shane. goodness, I appreciate thank you. that. How's it going? Yeah, and I'm in my I'm, I'm in my uh, in my full on like. Seattle, yeah. Mark and yeah. Boone wear. Big, big checks. Yeah. We should have worn holiday beards. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I'm hot already, so I have to take this scarf All off. All right, well. But it was fun for the intro, wasn't it? And then you got to see what the scarf is. Now I'm wearing what I will actually be wearing on the holiday Christmas day. Yeah, go figure. My head gets cold, uh, cold easy. There you go. <laughs> Let's say hi to everyone. <laughs> okay, one second. I need this. There you go. That totally the stretching Yo, scarf. That? Is this <laughs> is this, this scarf, scarf actually, actually stretching? <laughs> oh my goodness! All right. Anyway, <laughs> um, oh, let's take many a look. Big check is here. Yay! Let's many say hi to everyone here. else let's too. Let, oh, you have a lot of people here today. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's not the right one. That is though. So awesome. So Alex23 is here. Hi, Happy holidays, Alex. Uh, Brickaroo Bonsai is here. Awesome. Good to see you. Uh, Brickman Mosaics Art. Brickworm. Chris, Chris and Jaden Chalice. Chalice. Merry Christmas, everyone. everyone. So we need to stop right here. Yeah, we do need to stop here for a second because it's Jaden's birthday. Happy birthday, Jaden Chalice. Thank you Yay. so much, Jaden. And thanks for all and you know for your participation in the challenges and coming and hanging out with dad and watching the stream. And we're so uh, excited to get to wish you happy birthday today. Happy so birthday. happy birthday. Um, Cornado is here. Ahoy, howdy, cowboy Cornado. Uh, Darren Siegfried, Debo Bricks, Fab Fabu Fan MKE. MKE is here. Uh, Hooded One, Joel Marbella, John Latrell. Johnny Cat, hi Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Uh, it's gonna be a, another holiday without you this year. We're gonna miss you very much, but we uh, we will. We'll talk. It's good to see you here too. <laughs> exactly. Um, Christopher Coster is here, all the way from Puerto Rico. Uh, Maraid is here, all the way from Oakland, <laughs> like <laughs> ten minutes down the road. Um, uh, let me see. Mini Fig Chick, Mini Fig Nick is here. Hey Nick, it's so good to see you. Oh my goodness, we always love it when you stop by. Um, Monica Berry is here, and Moto, and Moto, Ms. Slow Brickta, Orange Bricks is here. Hey, Orange, hey. We haven't seen you in a little while. Uh, Remy Baker is here. Rob Zaccardi and the Zaccardis, Lana, Vanessa, and Elena. Happy holidays, Zaccardis. Uh, Roland Dravici is here. How's it going? Shane Levan. Yay, Shane. And Steve Parmley is here. Hey, and Steve. Which it's always nice to see his name in the chat. Steve, we miss you very much. Happy holidays to you and the family. Um, the Hornburgers are here. Ahoy, hoy, Hornburgers. How's it going? Um, the Wilfred is here. Bonsoir. And uh, I would try to say Merry Christmas in French, but I know I would screw it up royally and no, just embarrass I myself, so I'm not going to okay, bother. Okay, um, I'll just do, I can't pronounce it correctly, but I'm just going to do my version and say Joyous Noel. How about that? Does that get close enough? I guess. With, I don't with really bad know. pronunciation, but I don't it's really know how it's pronounced. <laughs> well, it's not French. And even though her name, pronounced. for some reason, on the list, I know she's here because I saw her chatting earlier. Finally, 
Zarakino. Yay, Kim. Kim. How's it going? <laughs> and I don't know, one um, that I can sort of pronounce is Feliz Navidad. There you go. And Gary Mullane is here. How's it going? Good to see you. So many awesome uh, awesome people here today. This oh, and then there's the other one. What is it? Uh, Froliche Weihnachten, uh, which I'm saying terribly, but again, it's heartfelt. <laughs> Christopher <laughs> Coster knows what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm sure he does. I just went... <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It's um, Christmas and close enough. It's all about the thought. Oh, thank <laughs> you so that's much. About thank the, you. That's the, about the best we got. <laughs> I tried oh when goodness. I was living in Berlin. I tried very hard to have good pronunciation and as many words as possible, and people were very kind and patient with me. That's awesome. That's they. They. I'm. I have had terrible times. I'm one of those awful. Um, American people who doesn't know any other languages other than English. I know a little bit of Spanish because my, you know, my, my family is Cuban and Puerto Rican on my dad's side. And so I got a lot of Spanish, uh, when I was visiting, but that was really only during the summer. So it didn't really stick, unfortunately, yeah. but you know, there you go. But both of us, whenever we travel, learn the politeness words wherever we are. Yes. <laughs> right? Please, thank you. Good yes. morning. Melakaliki Maka. That's one I can say. <laughs> and that's a great song, too, by the way. Um, uh, okay. So, gosh, we have a lot to, we have a lot to get through, through today. Do, so, goodness. first of all, you know that we are uh, going to be revisiting, or not revisiting, coming back to visit uh, Moto's V8 Interceptor, which yes. I have, um, which, wait, where's the box? Oh, oh, it's right there. Right it's right there. Um, and if you because if you weren't here the other day and didn't get to see it, it's amazing. Check this out. Like custom box and everything. Like right? it's incredible. Like we could go on, on and on about on, like. Oh my goodness! All the sides. I think he spent as much time with the packaging as he did with like actually building the model, which is saying something. Because and then I've got to show you the box. Oops. The bottom, bottom of the box as well. It's pretty awesome. Right and. Oh, yeah, goodness. if you didn't get to see the opening of it yesterday, Watch you should check episode. it out. I also know that um, he sent another one to Mel, Iceberg Bricks, and that tonight, I believe, that they are going to be doing an opening on his show. So if you didn't get to see ours, you can watch it and then go watch Mel's. Well, you know. Mel's place is always a great <laughs> place to hang out, too. <clears throat> Very true. And uh, Oh, my goodness. It's warm and friendly mm -hmm. on the iceberg. Pins? Yes, I have right. pins. I have one, too. Okay. I have a new pin. This one always makes me think of my friend Paint Pusher um, and going to Disneyland. It's the monorail. Well, I have to say pins always make me think of Minifig Chick and Paint Pusher because yes. they're the ones who got us into it. I know. They said, hey, look, these See are See what cool. you've done. <laughs> See what you have wrought. <laughs> and I have a very, very holiday... Um, there we go. Olaf pin. He's wearing a little Santa hat. He's got a he's present. He's so cheerful. He's got a little scarf on. Yeah, it's a, he's adorable. I wouldn't say he's my favorite Disney character, but I do love um, his... I love his look. Yeah. <laughs> he's got spirit, too. <laughs> oh, oh. The, the cutest holiday video I've seen so far is um, of a little white bunny um, nibbling the nose of an equally small snowman's carrot nose oh yep you know because animal videos there we go i've got my look at that on my olaf pin on my christmas sweater well i think we should get right to it we oh. we went out right? we went out yes we went out to the um to the to the post office a couple of times actually and had pretty good luck this time which isn't usual so that was yep. nice well, um, and the people at the post office were super nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and I, yeah, it was everybody was in good cheer. But and we have so much viewer mail that yep. Um, oh, our traditional graphic coming in. Yes, yeah, something new for twenty twenty one is an actual graphic for the mail. That. So we have a lot of we have like seven packages here this is crazy and i i have to say right off the bat that i'm um i'm just so blown away and 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 
appreciative of the thought that people would want to send us things so thank you so much is really lovely well we love the the art people make and and how thoughtful and we love sending out surprise packs and and um (laughs) ms Um, thing i think she's telling us yeah she's ready to do her job Ms. thing is gonna help us out here oh look and she's got a present ring on look at that very holiday very clever very clever So, but sorry, go ahead. You were saying. Well, I was just saying it's so amazing that people share art with us and and we love getting postcards and all, but we were blown away to go to the post office and see what you're about to see. We haven't looked at any of them, but we did open the tape. Um, So here, so this first one is from John Luttrell. um, And I know he sent this a little while ago. We were using it as um, for, it was very cute. Awesome. Now, I will Here, tell I'll you, the box. we sometimes open things ahead of time um, just because I get too excited and can't wait. But we actually, Richard we were good. Was, the, was the voice of reason. He's like, we can't open anything until actually like on the show. Yep. So there they you go. They were just sitting under the tree. Um, okay, so there's a card. And let's open the card up. I think this will be, this should be nice. Oh, it's a lovely holiday, holiday themed card as well. Flynn and Richard, wishing you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year, John Luttrell. Thank you, John. And also a nice, um, uh, a nice, uh, letter. A really, really nice letter. Um, He says, I hope this holiday season is a joyous one for you guys. I wanted to tell you how much your show and style means to me. I enjoy coming here as often as I can. I enjoy your spirits and positivity that seem to exude all the time. I like the fact that your show, all I hear is encouragement. It seems to me in these trying times rare. Thank you so much, That's John. So nice I really, to hear. I really, really appreciate it. Um, um, let's see. Enclosed a small gift for you. I never know what to buy a Lego enthusiast, <laughs> as I know you have a lot of Lego. I found this set, and I hope you do not have it already. However, if you do, I thought you could use this as a base for a show about making a mock from an existing set. That's awesome. That sounds cool. Regardless, I hope you continue to be a shining light in the Lego community. Keep up the great work, John. Thank you, John, Thank you, John. so much. I really... That's so sweet. Here, let's keep... Let's keep... And I want you to know, like, we have... I We have kept everything that anyone has ever sent us. Every note, every, every bit. I have a whole binder... Um, I have a binder that we keep the stuff in, and um, may I have a pen, please? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, there you go. Giant and we got some awesome Lego wrap here, so this is exciting. I don't know. Do we want to do the down camera? I don't think I can do the down <laughs> camera. Okay. Um, oh, oh, awesome! We don't have these. We don't. This is so cool. Oh, so we have a Lego bookmark, which is great because I was just, as I was standing in the post office yesterday with my book and kept losing my place, was wishing I had a bookmark. Then we have this awesome Lego pencil case with, now there's stickers in here, but I'm not going to show them because we're going to save them for sticker time. But there's a ruler. Oh, you must be very excited. A ruler. I love rulers. A notebook. An eraser and a pencil. Well, as a drafter, I love pencils and pens. And this is awesome. It's It's the Lego store model. And we don't have it. And we don't have it. So that's awesome. Thank you so much, John. This is awesome. <laughs> well, and we will definitely build this on the show. Yeah, we'll build this on the show. It'll be fun. Awesome. Thank you, John, so much. Um, okay, so let's see what... Yes? Oh, she says it's time. Ms. Thing says it's time oh, for the next... Oh, Ms. Thing says yes? Okay. Ms. Thing says it's time for the next one. Okay, this one is from Joel Marbella. Now, I think I know one of the things that's in here, but... <gasps> oh, be still oh my, my heart. Goodness. Be still my heart. I gotta say, right, first off the bat, like, there is... Now, I don't want to show this address, but look at that wrapping paper. That... Cl- it's the old... Um, with the bumble. With the right bumble, there. yes. Uh, it's the old Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer um, puppet from the original show. I loved that. It was such a huge okay, part of my Flynn, childhood. While you while you open the card, I'm going to carefully open this wrapper cuz Okay. I... So, first of all, we've got Oh, what? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, 
Um, lots of stickers here, which we're gonna again save for sticker time. Oh my goodness, you guys have saved us. We have so much. Whoa, um, and we don't. And Ooh. I'm trading Joel my extra Neville Longbottom for one of the Weasley twins, which I'm so excited about. Um, and okay, y'all, um, there's a this couple is... of <gasps> there's a couple of awesome Disney villain pins here, and I am loved with Gaston, so I'll I, I, well, I'm gonna I have to wear the Gaston. That is so awesome, and that's the guy from Hunchback, the oh. bat, the the mean guy. But wait, he's got my but, gun, y'all. This is crazy. This is nuts. And these are magnets. <laughs> these Look. are amazing. Like little bottle cap almost. They look like, I mean, I know it's not a bottle cap, but it almost looks like the bottle yep. cap with um, with our little minifig, our Kevin Hinkle minifig picks. Um, in, that like, is inside. just awesome. Yeah, super cool. <laughs> I love it. Super fun. Oh, and look, Ooh, it seal. even has a fancy seal on the back. I feel so um, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Snoopy card, which you love. Oh, and oh, I'm not going to look at that. Joel says, thank you for being such a great inspiration. Before Tricky Love, I never ventured beyond being a Lego set builder. My first ever mock was for the movie challenge that I finished three weeks later of Harry Potter and Voldemort Day. Please accept this humble appreciation for all that you do. I know you are avid board gamers like mm -hmm. myself, and the theme and gameplay should be fun. Maybe when Corona is over, you can invite me over for a game night. Oh, absolutely. 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 Um, and so let's see what this is. <gasps> what? This is also... We don't have this. We don't have this. This is awesome. This is a Universal Monsters board game, which I'm so excited. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. You know, my vacation starts tonight at 5 o'clock. We are absolutely playing this over the holidays. Oh, check it Look out. at the figures. Yeah, there's figures, including the bride, which you know is like one of my personal favorites. So this is so... Thank you, Joel. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is really, this is really, and it's co-op. That's awesome. How yeah, we, fun. We love cooperative games. Um, yes. You know, Forbidden Island. Yeah, Forbidden Island is a really good one. Um, wow. Um, I'm already, yeah, I'm already, like, I'm trying to hold, hold it together. It together. <laughs> hold it together. It's early on yet. <laughs> All right, so this next one is from the Hornburgers. Ahoy, my Hornburgers. Hornburgers are, um, always have Here, fun I'm, packaging. I'm putting this under the tree. I'll be right back. Okay. We have, let's see, I don't want to show any addresses here, but oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. Whoa. What? This is... <laughs> Okay, Swiss Miss Caramel um, Yum. Hot Cocoa Mix, which I'm super into. We love Hot Cocoa. Gummy Fun Mix, which, it, you know, y'all know I love gummy candy. We both do. Our Goomies. Are... Goomies. Um, we got a card here. Let's see what uh, what the Hornburgers have to say. Can we get rid of these? Oh, the yes. packaging. <clears throat> it says, Cheers. Dear uh, Richard Flynn and Logan, uh, Merry Christmas. We wish you all a wonderful holiday season, a very happy 2021. We are so very blessed to have you in our lives. Looking forward to fun and new year. Love, Julia, Peter, and Andrew. That's awesome. This is amazing. Um, really cute penguin wrap, right? <laughs> uh, and awesome holographic uh, ribbon paper things, too. Love that. Ooh. And here we'll put that, having this later today, by the way. This will definitely not be part of our Christmas wrapping that's happening tonight and tomorrow. And, <laughs> and I love this, the Merry Christmas coaster. Except that it will. on the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is like, like we get Christmas and then Christmas. Happy penguins. It's wrapped very well. Lots of cushion. Oh my goodness. And paper. And it feels like, um, let's see. I'm not, 
showing it to the camera first. <gasps> oh, <Whoa>! Andrew! <laughs> This is so sweet. It, Andrew painted a picture of Logan for us. It's adorable. It's in a frame. And look at that. I'm, I'm sorry, Thank I'm holding you. it it's tilted amazing. because you can't see it otherwise. It's a wonderful, wonderful work of art. This is so good. Of art. This is so good. I'm Thank you, Andrew, so much. And thank you, Hornberger, so much for this. This is just... Um, thank you very much. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, this Hornburgers. This is going um, near the tree because a certain dog is right down there. <laughs> yeah. we we'll show him now. <coughs> uh, okay. Is this, is this watercolor in the background? Yes, it looks like watercolor and, um, and maybe crayon and or pastel. Crayon. Very, it's really, really great. That's a, that is wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, so this next one is from Fabby Fan MKE Jason Scheinebeck. Oh, dude, thank you so much. It, it's the <laughs> Goonies. I was saying I hadn't hadn't gotten one. It was the one that I wanted. And thank you so much. That well, is know, so awesome. We were just saying this morning we wanted to pick a video game that we could play together rather than sort of go into our corners and play separately. And right. we're we're gonna play Dimensions. So awesome. And also, I know we have an envelope here from um, from Jason as well, from Fabby Fan. Here, so I'm take there's the stickers envelope. in here, which I'm not going to share too much of because it, we'll save those for sticker time. But check these awesome Lego elf gift tags out. They're super cute with the little elves on them. Very cool, right? Mm hmm. Nice. What are these. he's holding? Like he's holding a little a, megaphone. He's, he's like, announcing Christmas. He's like, "Hey, it's Christmas!" <laughs> that's actually that's Flynn Christmas morning. It is. It's true. Running, um, running up and down the hall. We have an envelope here from Cowboy Cornado, and it says, oh, "I don't know if you can see it, but it says Cowboy Cornado on it, which just warms my heart." I have to say, that's one of my favorite nicknames that's come up of this year. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, so, uh, hello, gentlemen. Uh, d do your own research. <laughs> this is DIY research. <laughs> uh, LOL, happy holidays, uh, Cowboy Cornado. Thank you so much. And yes, there are... Whoa, there are some cool stickers in here, y'all. I'm going to quickly They're just a big flash them. There, that's all you get to see of that. Yeah, you'll have to slow-mo that. This is so good. <laughs> that's awesome. But yeah, we can put those in there. Um, and... Oh, and it's it's um, it's too flitchered. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a card here um, from Melissa Mayette. It says, Season's Greetings. It's got a cute little... Christmas scene on the front. Thank you so much, Melissa. We appreciate that very much. I think we're going to put that up on the fridge with our new magnet. Yes. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. Thank you, Melissa. That's um, very sweet. This one is from... Now, I don't know... I'm not sure about this one. So, uh, let me... Oh, my goodness. This one is... Um, I'm hoping there's a card inside because I don't recognize the name on the return address right oh, away. So, um, and oh. don't, don't worry, Monica, we're saving yours for last, because I know you've been very excited, so we've been holding holding um, off on it. Oh, Mel good. There's, Melissa's um, came with, I don't know if you can, maybe you can't see, but it's got glitter sparkle tape on the back of it. Too. Okay, this has an awesome, check this awesome card out. It's like um, crayons. Like crayon paper. Oh, like paper. crayon wrappers. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. And it says, uh, Dear Richard and Flynn, thank you so much for building this amazing community and helping us uh, keep us sane this year. Happy of holidays, and we hope you enjoyed this used set. <laughs> Love your Tricky Lug family. With a zillion hearts. With w lots of hearts. What a beautiful card this yeah, is. Yeah, I love this. And, and it's pink, which I love. And nice printing, too. Uh, from uh, from from from, Br from Brickworm. Oh, awesome. Okay, so this is a whole yes, awesome. Um, uh, 
uh, a mini picnic. I have not seen yet anything from you. I know that the uh, European mail is taking an awful lot of time this year. And, but then I saw somebody else sent something out that got there Wait, in like a have day. Have you shown that? Oh, yeah. So it came in this awesome Santa, <laughs> Santa bag, which I'm super psyched about. It's like a warm stocking for it. Whoa! It's the Winter Village Carnival, the Winter Village Market with the with the little um, a, a carousel in the middle. Everyone, thank you we, so much. We also don't have this. We don't have this one either. I'm just. This is. <laughs> this is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, so much. Um, it's really amazing. This horse has amazing printing on it, by the way. The carousel horses both have amazing printing. Um, oh. Thank you. This will go... That We will build this and this will go under the tree. This is, um, this is beyond cool. Here, I'm going to go you. put it under the tree. Okay. We will yeah. definitely be building that. And so thank you, everyone, who the... was involved with, in that. I appreciate it. Um, okay, so... This next one is from Monica Berry, and Monica, I know I've seen lots of side chat about this, so... Okay, hang on a second, Flynn. I'm going to be right back, all right? Don't okay. open it yet. No, I'm just opening the lid. Just opening the lid. Don't worry. Um, and I'm going to take two things. It's two things out. Okay. So, um, this says, uh, to Flynn and Richard from Monica Berry... Please open on the show. Oh, yes, don't worry. Have a box cutter handy. Oh, okay. okay we have all right, so first of all, it's got, like, sassy, pink, sparkle, unicorn Christmas paper with rainbows, snowflakes, candy canes, and, you know, and mirror, which I'm 100% I'm okay. here for. <laughs> careful, I have a knife out. Okay. We'll be very carefully, careful to open the all the tape right. <laughs> Right. Oh my God! I'm not gonna make. Hopefully, um, are we opening the right one first? I hope there's not an order in which these are supposed to go in, which we are ignoring. But I didn't see any instructions, so I'm assuming we can open this one first. All right. Um, Definitely not gonna be part of our holiday wrapping paper this year, except that it is. <laughs> except that it is. Um, all right. So the first thing is. Oh my. Oh, wow. This is pretty cool. I'm seeing cool stuff already. Color. First one, this is Lego System Freestyle Trolley Whoa, Bag. I've never seen I have never any either. This is like some that. vintage stuff right here, y'all. And look, look, you can tell not only is it vintage, but look at the bottom of that green brick right there. Yep. Right? Old school. Very, very cool. And it comes with a monkey face, too. Yeah, monkey face, the little polka dotted, the, this little polka dotted piece. Um, this is so awesome. Thank you so much. What a cool. It's from the 90s, apparently. Okay, very, very cool. Wow. Very nice. Oh, and some Linder dark chocolate shell. You love dark chocolate. I love <coughs> dark chocolate. <coughs> Pardon me. So we'll be... Lots of chocolate. I'm excited about that. Okay, so we got this awesome, um, the photo, which is great, by the way. Happy holidays. And I believe that's Monica and family with Santa. Oh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Very cute. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, dear Flynn and Richard, I hope this finds you well and enjoying a very merry holiday season. Um, I want to thank you so much for bringing joy and delight to my family and me during this difficult year. We feel very blessed to be part of your Lego family. Um, and then there's some personal, personal, personal stuff. Personal stuff. Um, thanks again, and keep up the good work, and I, I hope you enjoy the gifts. Absolutely. Um, um, okay. Thank and you so much. Let's see... Here, I'm gonna. Um, may I have? Her and I want to read. I want to read the personal part right now, but I'm afraid I will cry too much, and it wouldn't be fair for me to read it in front. Um, you know, and not read it to everybody. <laughs> but check out this, um, this minifig of Unikitty with sunglasses on, and she's got like a festive, like colorful top with pink pants, and this is awesome. Thank you so much. That and is a very colorful top. It is. <laughs> 
vacation and a, unikitty. And a yes. blue unicorn horn. All right, we're take, taking that. And we need that knife again. Okay. I'm so bad at the knife. Can I tell you, like, I cannot for the life of me figure out how it closes again. I have to make him do it every time. It's and okay. you know what? It, I what, don't mind. You know what else happens every time? He shows me how, and then I've forgotten by That's the next okay. time. You know, we have different <laughs> jobs, right? We have different jobs. He runs the show, I cut tape. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Oh, it's, I see. I'm I'm sensing art. Oh yeah, with careful archival paper. It's got paper on. Oh, and there's tape underneath here. Let's do this. Tape and paper. There we go. All right. Sorry, it's taking us a second to get. We the... want to be careful. Here we go. And before we even look at it. It says, painted for Flynn DeMarco and Richard Board by Monica Innes. May you continue to collect many happy memories. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Come here, honey. You know us too well. Here, we'll share this with you. This is so personal and means so much. That's us, of course, the two crows. Well, you know, that's our favorite song is Blackbird, and it's, you know, we had blackbirds on our wedding invitation. Yep. And they're collecting I... things in their nest, and there's theater here, and Mickey and Super Sewer Baby Super is Sewer here. Baby. Um, and Technic. <laughs> and a berry, and Clicky, and a cookie for Logan. And stickers. Stickers, and a golden snitch, and a gear. <laughs> and... Thank you so much. This, this is, is this is really so thoughtful. I'm I can't sorry. even I can't even Here tell you. He's happy. This is really wonderful. And and the one crow is holding lights, right? Because he's a lighting designer. Well, this is a very Merry Christmas, and I can't even tell you. You you all must have some idea because I feel like you've gotten to know us on some level since March, right? And maybe on that TV show a little bit before that. Um, but this really means so much, all of everything that you all sent. And, and, and the most is that you thought to do it, you know? Like, we don't expect people to send us things. We really don't. Um, but the art that you all make and the fact that we all get to, you know, we enjoy you. Um, People, people have said that it makes them feel good, what we do for the show. And I got to tell you, what you all do makes us feel very good. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. This is just... <laughs> this is just... See, beautiful. we're happy. Can you tell we're happy? Just all of you, Tricky Lug, you're so thoughtful and wonderful. My dad was pointing that out. My dad, who turns 90 in a few days, was pointing out what a wonderful community Tricky Lug is. Okay, I'm gonna go put this in um, by the tree, but up off the floor. Oh my god, Monica, thank you so, thank you so much. That just, you know, I was just the other day when we were at the at the mailbox. Um, you know, we picked up the stuff and brought it back, and um, you know, we had the packages in the back, and I was just. I don't know. I just felt like, yeah, I looked at Richard and I said, what have we done to deserve such wonderful, thoughtful people in our lives? And um, thank you all so very, very much. Um, we, um, yes, we never, we will never feel alone. We have a, right. a family and... Um, Thanks, Monica. And yes, I just see this is happy. This isn't a sad crying show. No, it's this not. Is, <laughs> this is a happy Flynn and Richard show. Um, and and you know what? We've had someone waiting in the waiting room for a while too. And maybe yeah, maybe we'll invite them in um, even before that special time. And gosh, you all remembered Logan too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, 
And um, and thank you for, to everybody for all the kind things. And and orange bricks, don't don't worry about it. Like we said, we don't expect things. No, never. At all. No, not at all. Um, no, 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 no. But when you when when it does happen, it really brightens our day and our weeks. And like I can't tell you, you know, it's been. As we all know, it's been a mixed bag, especially the last week leading up to the mm -hmm. holidays, like the mixture of it, like excitement and a little bit of sadness and, you know, that it's going to be a little bit different and to, to just going to the post office and picking up these things like lifted our spirits so incredibly much. Yep. And um, well, we've got we have all your presents and cards over under the Christmas tree and we're going to see them Christmas morning and we're going to build the sets on the show. Yeah, absolutely. And put the art up in our house. Yes, I saw Clicky in the painting. It's all just—I <laughs> mean, it's it, that was just so thoughtful and 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 included so many of the things that um, that we love and and. Yay! Happy holidays. Yes. <laughs> well, let's let's welcome Moto, shall we? Yeah, let's bring let's. Uh, he's so patient. He's and, been very patient. And also, <laughs> my gosh, what a talented, thoughtful person! And and. Um, Flynn, you were working on the car last night. I was well. working on the car last night. Let's bring uh, let's bring Moto on, and Elise Johnson. Hi, my mom's here too. Awesome. Hi, Hi Moto. Moto. How's it going? Yay! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go. Look, we're all featuring plaid today. Uh, okay. That is awesome. So for whatever reason, um, your volume is not coming in. There it is. Better oh, now? Moto's yeah. up. You got you. We got you now. Good, good. Moto, <laughs> is is that how you cut that, that one um, grill in half? Yeah, you know, you got to use a vintage uh, bow, bow saw if you really want to get the job done. Like a little wow. tiny miter box? That's amazing. Yeah. But this is a legit This is a legit bow saw for taking down Christmas trees. This is not... That's this is so not a, cool. Yeah, this is a handcrafted wooden pre-plastic pre uh, bow saw. And it oh, is it's sharp. beautiful. That's well, awesome. I'm going to set that down before I poke an eye out. Yeah, careful. It's sharp. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look who's here. Mr. Elmo Man is here. Hey, Mr. Elmo Man. We were just talking the other day Mr. about Elmo Man. how we missed you, uh, seeing you in the chat and, and your builds for the challenges. How awesome that you're here. Welcome back. Yeah. Um, Welcome. And the Hornburger said, and I, I can't highlight them like I do on StreamYard, but Hornburger say it's a challenge to find a way to laugh, cry, and learn together, but this space has made all of that happen. That is no small task. And thank you so much. And that is that is, one hundred percent because of all of you. Like that, it's all. It, I mean, it's a it's a group effort. Yep, I'm reminded of Mister Rogers when, um, when I think it's safe around here to have feelings, right? Yep, exactly. Well, of course. And I want to thank you because in the mailbox, about an hour and a half ago, came this <laughs> gift from you guys. You got your you got your strap. <laughs> I got my camera strap. So if, if nobody, it, it may seem dumb. No, it doesn't. When you have a when you have a four thousand dollar camera body, having the right camera strap, and using this every single week, sometimes two or three times a week. Yeah, thousands of shots. This camera strap finally is is going, is dying. But it's only after about ten years worth of use. Uh, so awesome. you guys, I'm going to be wearing this at least two or three times every week. That's oh, just great. Awesome. Oh, I'm so yeah. glad. And every That's... time you see a photograph from now, and you're going to know that this camera strap is on that body. <laughs> right on. I think of and that I'm very, as... I'm very particular about my brand. This is an amazing camera strap. Oh, I'm so glad. Well, we have, there's there's other there's other sorts of things as well, but that's yep. um yeah, future in the coming in the future. Ooh. So, I think of um I think of that as a tool and I really 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 appreciate tools. I never understood why my dad wanted tools for, you know, like Father's Day, holidays and all that, and now I totally get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And when so, you have a camera, man, the camera strap makes all the difference in the world, especially when you have that that type of system that goes over the shoulder. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's the right way to do it. Yeah, not instead of around the neck. Right I'm on. Gonna grab the anyway, model. you you you. Uh, where did we leave off? We left off. Well, actually, somewhere. before we before we jump into this, okay, we have. Um, it's time for another special guest. Oh, it's another special guest. Yes. yes. <laughs> Here we go. It is time for... Yay! 
Yeah. Oh, you yeah. almost got him. Time. Whoa. <laughs> you almost got all of them. <laughs> there you go. Yay, Logan. And a Tyrannosaurus. Because, of course. Yay, yeah, Logan, what a good boy. Oh, good boy. Say hi to everyone. <laughs> hi, Logan. <laughs> Logan is tops. What a good boy you are. All right, and lest anyone forget, here's your sound of happiness. Yay, Logan. What a good boy. Yes. Oh, good dog. <laughs> Give me an extra lick for me, Logan. There we go, Logan cookie time. So, um, gosh, where do we leave off? I'm sorry, I'm still just very, um, feeling very emotional about all that, all of that. Um, you should. That was some amazing stuff. Whew, it's just, wow, y'all are incredible. Incredible. Whoa. Oops, sorry. Oh, what an amazing well, community. What um, an amazing community. So I did, um... Uh, I did do some more work on the car. Um, I knew it. You couldn't resist. You well, had to keep no. building. And also, too, we just, you know, <laughs> I actually, and see, it was one of the first times I actually, like, followed through when I say, I'm going to work on this off camera. Because usually I say that, and then it usually doesn't happen just because we're always tend to be moving on to the next, you know, excitement. But this right. is such a right. big excitement that, can I get the model? Yes. Um, now, um, no. we're, we've separated out the bags and bricks a little more than we had before. Yeah, so hopefully we'll be bags... able to... Oh my gosh! Well, you the did bag... the majority of the front. Yeah, so I do, um, we did the front, and I, I attached the motor. Yeah, I did. Um, here, I'm going to go to the solo so that we can uh, we can see that in the close-up. But... And that's a lot of work. So you're like, man, you're way... And I gotta say, I love these windows, the window shutters as the, you know, for the lights in the front is so cool. Yeah, check that one on the right side. It's yeah, yeah, we need to adjust that one. They are constantly popping bit. out. It, what, what you it down, it should be. They constantly pop out. That's yeah, I the noticed. And the That's side a, lock together. Yeah. yeah, but that, you know, still, it's brilliant. And I wish I could show you, um, like, how that all went on. It's like a series of clips, and then it's in there with on clips and bars and tilted and like bananas business. And then of course the, the motor was pre-built for us because it is um, colored, it is Yeah, you can, take, you can take one of the bricks off the motor if you want. Um, because when I spray painted it, I spray painted each individual part silver, all back and front before I assembled oh, it. Oh, cool, of course it's just that did. It's just that once you assemble it, it, it can chip over right. time. Right, so that is, and also, you'll see like I, there's a couple of universal joints here with a little mm. uh, axle attached, mm -hmm. and when you turn that, what would be the steering wheel? Then those little wheels uh, have some turn. Yeah, there. so you got through the rack and pinion steering, uh, and also, uh, what did you think about the way the hood finally comes together um, around the front? Uh, studs and everything so it was all snot well there was some down. head scratching and looking at you know what finally did it was um looking at how these oops that's all right where did i just drop off it doesn't matter we'll find it's it the, there you uh, go you got it it's the pew pew thing that oh yeah the, the thing in the front um, so i'll reach around here backwards there's a sideways built cheese wedge yeah. and at studs up brick there and how those two lined up was the key to how the hood goes on yeah that's yep. how that's yep. how we figured that out it wasn't it wasn't too bad it was a little it uh, it took a minute but we got it and then this awesome little thing in the front pew pew it, yeah when i looked at photographs it's a strange little bar he's got this like i don't know whether it's a towing or a, a cam arm or something is underneath there so but we'll yeah. go to our build cam, and You're yeah, we did. I, I did divide things up a bit more. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit easier to find things today. Um, all we'll like just... all like parts, uh, like slopes and things, are all in one container. It's not. Um, and then we need the instructions. Oh, here we go. So we are officially on. Um, 386, uh, right? 386. 385 correct. to 386. So, 
All right. So now I got to tell you, I, w one of the things that I, I, you know, I was like, wow, this is, it's a, you know, it's, it is a tome of a, of, in, <laughs> of instructions. Yep. And you can see that there is one step per oh, piece. Oh, it's not, look, it's not showing. Which on. is, oh, oh yeah, sorry. Well, there's one step per piece, which I appreciate because it does get confusing sometimes. So I am <laughs> super behind that. Um, yeah, and... that's why there's so many steps is uh, because of the black brick and because it's really hard to see in the instructions, I kind of took it back and I double up occasionally, but not that often, just because those red outlines are the key to figuring out how to place everything. Yep. Uh, real quick, I'm going to do a, I got to do a little bit of sneaky business here, a little bit of offstage work. Um, All right, you know, well, I'm going to familiarize myself with where these little bags are. With exactly where everything is. Yeah, sorry, I did, um, I divided the best I could with uh, types <laughs> of parts and all that, but... Debo has got a call back. He says the Fiat is so jealous right now. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> It'll happen, I promise. They're um, probably roughly at the same scale. I think so. Simil yeah, they're yeah, both definitely. technic scale, probably. Okay. So, so that'd be interesting if the fiat was in a post-apocalyptic future. That's kind of the state. <laughs> that's kind of how it would look. All, all kind of torn down for spare parts. So we got this really, I'm not quite sure why this is so bright today, but you know what? It'll help with the black bricks. It will. So why not? Okay. So we're going to kick off uh, things with these pieces here. Okay. Like um, a two by three. A two by three plate. I'm going to call for a few pieces at a time, and then we can do that. So, okay, yeah. and then you're looking for some tiles. A two by three right? plate, two two by two plates. I'm going to try to get you to try to get the all of the things in the one. And now they're starting to build up the side panel on the front. And of the car. then um, some tiles. Yes, a one by two tile and a one by four tile. It looks like. Yeah. While you guys are doing that, I'll tell the chat um, the front bumper assembly will come off the model if you wanted to make it movie accurate to the Road Warrior, the second one. The second movie. The second movie. Okay, and then we get a little bit of a flip over here. Oh, and here, a corner. We need can a. You, yeah. Would it? Yeah, that works. We need a corner piece as well, if you if you would. I admit, I set the bag of corners aside. Uh, Coronado, what are you doing in the chat? What? What's Cornado doing? Oh, he started to delete bricks. a bunch of random chat and then hide people who are actually really nice people. Well, I don't. I'm sure there was a there. It it may not have been him. So I don't think he would do that. No, it's not good. He's kicking everybody off the chat, man. You got to get on the chat right now. Wait, what? You might have an impersonator. Yeah. Oh, I see. What's going on right now? Oh, Alex. Oh, oh. Corn Cornado had a had um, a, had a butt a, butt dialing a butt dial experience. <laughs> I don't think that was that was. The, I was gonna say that's not um that's not our Cornado. Uh, he wouldn't do that. No. Okay. Yeah, but we gotta. I gotta. Okay, I gotta do some looking at this on how to unhide people because that's basically. A oh, I band. see. Yeah, Maraid's Mar uh, message was deleted, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going <laughs> to... Brickworm says, blame the cat. You guys keep going. I'm going to try to... Or Minifig Chick, can you go in the settings and start to restore these people so they can come back in? Well, he didn't kick anyone out. Uh, he he hid Johnny Cat, and he hid Ma Mayreed. Mayreed? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mr. Elmo Man and Jammy Bricker, too. And Minif oh. So Minifig Chick's doing a good job. She's restoring everything back. Oh, awesome. Thanks well, for catching that. Hey, Mario. it's a hard job. So yeah, It is. Okay, I'm I a... I I butt kicked someone uh, once on Boone Bells. Oh really no! Fun. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Okay, so I've got this. Right here we go. Uh, turn this over, right? But that doesn't look right. Oh, oh is there another two by two? It goes here. Yeah, oh, that's I see. the new piece that goes on. I see. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. And then this and this. Perfect. Hey. Na, 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 na. Super helpful, Flynn. Oh, good. One of those. And then we're looking. And at there's a slope. bag of those. Yep. So this is that slope. We call them slippers. Yeah, they look like little oh, ballerina slippers. Oh, slippers! That's a great name for them. 
something new for the bingo card. Hey, that was our technical. That was our technical of the day. So. Ooh, I like this blow up. The little here. call out. Yeah. And then you flip it over. And put that on there like this. And then a one by one. And then it looks like a one by one, uh, a one by one tile here. Plate. Lots of black one by one a tiles. A plate, right? Uh, plate. Yes. Sorry. So I also wanted to like, hey, Corey, don't so don't worry about it. It is not a big deal. Not at all. Um, way worse things have happened. <laughs> oh yes, way worse things have happened. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, now we're looking for one of these curves. And it looks like we need two of those, actually. Now we're enjoying the benefit of the not only Moto's separation into little bags, but knowing where those bags are. Yes, yep. yes, definitely, to definitely make it easier. Ooh, now, and now we get to use that, this thing, it's right here. I love these, by the way, Moto. Brilliant use of these Nexo shields. Knights uh, shields. Yeah, that shield, the shield, the graphic on that shield was as close as I could find to the original, uh, you know, decal that was on the Interceptor in the very first Mad Max movie. It's really great. It's very, it's very clever. Oh, are these doors yep. we're making now? It looks like it. So uh, it's the, it's the panel just ahead of the door. Oh, I see. Oh, and I see the I see. snot pieces ready yeah. for it. And yeah, you can see we there's these snot pieces, and we put this little tiny curved piece here. And then this is going to fit right in here because magic. Oh, and then that curve is recessed. Yeah, that's more yeah. Moto smoke and mirrors. Because Moto magic. Yeah, so now you know why that you. little... Yeah, now you know yesterday when we were talking about that little teeny slope on the um, jumper. That's, yeah. that's You just closed it up and you can see why it was why it was placed there as an effect. Yeah, it closes up a hole in the fender. Yep. Um, so, let me see. Oh, Allison Gale is here. Hey, Allison. How's it going? Um, okay. Okay, now we're going to flip. I think we're going to make that same thing again, but the other way. And here, yes, I'll open are. both pages up, so that way you can. And you know what? While, we're, while you're grabbing pieces, I'm going to try and adjust this horribly bright light. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, let's see. You got that there? I'm going to let you... There we go. Yeah, so we're up here, step four hundred. Right? Yeah, you go ahead and grab a couple pieces ahead, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna fix this shenanigans here. Four hundred. You're getting close to the halfway point. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Okay, and then a two by three. How's that? I think that's better, right? Uh, Wilfred, that is a Nexo Night piece. And if they hold it up uh, to the camera for you guys to see, Ooh, that I chose it because lines. the insignia on the Mad Max car is a sword with a golden shield. And so I used a yellow Nexo piece that has a sword printed on it. Uh, sorry, everybody. Gonna, it's going to take me a second here. Here, I'm going to pull these. It seemed to, it seemed yeah, to have like one by one. messed us up a little bit. Yep, and if you guys want a more accurate... Uh, car for the road warrior instead of mad max you would just take that shield off and the one by two underneath and you put a one by two tile down there we go oh that's, look at that much better that's as good as i can do Ooh, for now that's great that's good fun so pretty it's a little it's a little weird but it's not terrible okay all right so we've no got i gotta get caught up here now now i noticed this is a slightly different way of constructing this piece Oh, I need another two by three. Yeah, plate. I mean, it's a mirror image, but I I like to mix up the steps to assemble it, just because otherwise it's, it's you know, when you go fresh. through the same steps, right, exactly. Fresh. It's just so boring. Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> She's fresh. All right. Um, is that right? Wait, am I doing this correctly? I better I better double check all of this. Uh, no, I'm not doing this correctly at all. But that's all right. I can fix it. This is what I get for... There we go. Extra Your pieces. dad's a TV repairman. He's got an awesome set of tools. You can fix it. I okay. I remember TVs that had tubes you had to replace once upon a... <laughs> once, every now and then. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I was yeah, pretty small. I, let me see. No, our TV didn't have tubes, but... I did. I do remember when 
we we got a color TV from black and white and what that was like. That was pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. You could see Gilligan's Island in full color. Because <laughs> that's a great use of your... Yeah, because uh, that's, why, that's why the technology was invented. That's, that's why Cheerios. we went to the moon right there. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Oh, man. Well, you know, we're you know we're gonna we're coming up swiftly to our two hundredth episode, and we're gonna have to do another list of um, shows that have had less episodes. Now, did you have those Nexo Nights? Yep. Oh, you're, you're probably you've oh, probably you passed it. up so many um, shows by th at this point. Yeah, I know. I still don't think we've come to Laverne and Shirley yet, but I'm 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 excited for that day when that does happen. All right, there we well, go. We have a yeah, smaller there. writing team than Laverne and Shirley has. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you have a slightly less budget too. So, yeah, uh, slightly, just slightly, slightly less. less budget. Just slightly less. <laughs> okay, you wanna um, you wanna go ahead and move on to the next part? Yes. You know, I gotta. You're gonna have to flip the car around. That's, I still gotta do a little bit of uh, work here because something's okay. not right. As per uh, usual, uh, there we uh, go. Uh, oh, I'm looking for bricks. They're way over here. Oh, so Wilfred asked a good question. I'll ponder this. I was wondering, are there a lot of big official Lego cars which are not Technic chassis based, like this one? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, wow. All right. I, hmm, I doubt it. I doubt it because they need the car to be playable. So they need that Technic chassis on the bottom to keep it really sturdy. Whereas oh. I'm able to get away more with like a model, it's a like a plastic here. model kit. Oh. Yeah, the Ferrari, I, that's right. The red Ferrari didn't have a Technic chassis, but that was an older set. Okay, two by two plate. Yeah, it's... And then this funny piece, which I know I saw in one of these bags. I'll see if I can find it. There it is. Nope, nope, yeah, I different think... thing. I think for something this scale, they would probably There's put a Technic chassis There's another bag that has like rando stuff in it. It might be in there. There it is. Hooray! Whoa, I haven't seen this piece before. Oh yeah, the chat is more wise than I am. The crater bus, that is a good example of the vehicle. Oh yeah, this is a pretty cool piece, Moto. Oh yeah, which one? This one that has like the pyramid with the pin and like the yeah, plate. Yeah, uh, that was a Another piece that was around um, probably in the 60s and 70s and it was used as a plane, uh, the front of a plane. You'd stick a little propeller on it. Now these are kind of floating around the bottom of a... Here we go. There's one. There's one of them. All right. I'm using it to represent the gearbox um, that come, that basically a drive shaft gear... Uh, oh, on these older cars. It. Okay. Yeah, on okay. these older cars, you would actually have the, the transmission would have a, would put a bump down the middle of the car. Okay. And now, the, that's and a the, larger the, the, pin the than just a technic The shifter would be pin, incorporated it? into that. Is it? Larger... Moto, this is larger than a standard Technic pin, isn't it? I don't believe so. It, but that came out before Technic pins were invented. They, oh, they were oh, maybe just a it. different shape, right? So we need a red dot yeah, and a white yeah, tile. Yeah, so it was used, like I said, it was used as an old, you know, biplane or just aeroplane uh, propeller thing on the front of an airplane. Right. There's that. Very good. I think it was... A white tile? I think it was, what am I trying to think? I think it was the mid, mid 70s when I first saw those pieces. But they're probably older than that. All right. You got you it? Got, uh, yeah. Joel, I don't know if the Mustang is oh, the and same scale. I think this one is might be a little rod. bit bigger. Oh, a black one by one with a hole, sorry. But they're roughly, yeah, they're roughly the same shape. And then a controller, like one of the little controller rods. No, Joe and I have not started oh. the Range Rover because it's in, it is intimidating. <laughs> Uh-oh, i got to make sure I got the right one. Yes, the one with the hole. And the... Now, there must be a red controller rod, too. There it is. Oh, okay. That's the one we want. And then we're going to put this whole thing onto the car. Oh yeah, and show the results. So what they've done is they've created, like I said, that transmission drive shaft that that comes out of the middle of the car, and so he's got the he's got the way to engage the um, nitrous oxide. <laughs> of course, <laughs> in there, and the little and the little, uh, you know, supercharger off on. 
button is there too. And it goes right in the center, Moto. Yeah, look, it splits that. One yes. by yeah, just tile. Yeah, yeah, look at look at that four by brick to place right, right in yep. the middle, right in the center. All right, looking good. Looking good. Now, if, if only you had the nitro to engage. I know. I think, right? you're, I think you'll get there. I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure but we. Logan will. can help with that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, so he is full of some... nitro, that's for sure. Jump plates, there should be a whole. I made like a thing that's just jump plates. There we go. Two of them. And you do have to take these next two sub belts and steps because they are not mirror images of each other. They are different. Oh, they are okay. very. They're different things. They're very slightly different, and there's a reason they're different. Okay. Which you'll, which that's you'll fine. wind up seeing later on. So we're going to do two. Um, Two of these, and then one of these funny little like um, stoplight kind of pieces. Yeah, right? I think it looks like a movie camera. I always think of it as a movie. Yeah, camera. I always saw those in classic space sets, and they just give a ton of studs and directions, but they have like a cylindrical weird one by two plate. Yeah, I thought I saw a grill as well. There's there one. is, but with the oh, one by two plate comes first. Oh, I'll put this on top yeah, of here for just now. Yeah, I have it. Um, and then we had a bag of one by two plate. No, it's a stack. Yeah, if they're in here. No, John like Luttrell. Keep them in the... I can do the... Huh. There you go. John, what does RR stand for? If you can design this, you can do the RR. I don't know. Hmm. Rolls Royce. Would... I don't know which... which Railroad. Road Warrior. <laughs> Railroad. The... Range Rover. Range Oh, Range Rover. Oh, yeah. See, I was thinking about that. The Range Rover has some... Oh, yeah. I'm points. probably going to be putting that together over break, but uh, this is system. It's a that one is I'm sorry. not... <laughs> you can make that up, yeah. There's a one, a one cheese wedge and a single tile. Tile or plate? Tile. A one-by-one one tile, which is with uh, the tiles. There we go. We've got a... We've got a cheese wedge here so you can see what I'm doing um, and there then it looks go. like a one by one round t black tile I'm gonna guess that might be in with like small things yeah well I see quarter yeah. round tiles yeah, this is just a one black flat yeah. tile we may need to just move forward and then we can come back to that I one. think I did throw the the quarter rounds and the rounds together okay but you will have to put that on now. You can't come back to it because it's going to trap lock into the body. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it, we, I may need to just grab one out of our things if yeah, we have to see it. Yeah, why don't let's both look at the same time. You look in our stuff. I'll look in here. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab. It's our... close by. It is close by. It's right back here. Um. No, there's a dot. No, I have a. <laughs> ooh, I have a silver tile, but not a. If we have one, it would be in not there. a black one. Yeah, you know, do any of you have this experience? Yeah. Where so they're asking it? about the Range Rover again. I'll just go get the box while you talk. Oh, righto. Any of you have this experience where um, you're working on a project and you pull all the color and all the pieces for that project and separate it all out, and then you put that away for some reason and you go back to your collection. Oh, Moto, that's... Um, we have that setting back here. I super look forward to putting it together, and I hear there's some tricky parts. Oh, it's intimidating. Yeah, the uh, gearbox is something you have to slow yeah. down and really pay attention yeah. to. But then, you know, we have this, so we'll have drawers full of bricks, and all the one by n black plates are gone because we pulled them for that other project. Yes, right? that and happens like, a lot. Where did you put them? Okay, I'm, oh, I'm looking at, I have a decently sorted collection, uh, uh, and then I've got... I still think I have about 150 pounds to sort through. I mean, it's roughly sorted by type. Wow. Yeah, you exactly and um, you and Alex23 are like the kings of, um, of, doing, of doing that stuff, bulk, like bulk, yeah, sorting bulk. out. You need to come to our houses or to our house once this is all done. Um, oh, I'd love to. Have a sort party? That would be so fun. Just hang we'll out and cook. sort stuff? We'll yeah. cook for you. Um. Let me see. I oh, should, yeah, well, absolutely. Well, we would cook for you if you didn't sort too, Moto. <laughs> I don't know. You've never seen me eat. <laughs> <laughs> and we need another jump. <clears throat> uh, 
So a jump plate, a one by two. But that, do you know where the stop lights are? Yeah, I have it right here. Okay. And I gave you the one by two, right? Mm hmm And then another grill. Bear grills. Yes. Indeed, have, bear I, grills. I have to say it. You it's do. like when I see a cow, I have to moo. Always. Or you have to point. That's like always the thing in like whenever anybody's in a car, if you see a cow, you always have to point out the cow. Like, there's a cow. Yes, well, I mean, maybe that's because we're from, you know, one by two a part tile. of California that doesn't have a lot of cows. I was going to say, I grew up in Wisconsin, and we didn't do that. We didn't <laughs> do that. Well, okay. I think it's because you probably couldn't get anywhere Fair if you enough. did that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've gotten all <clears throat> the bits attached now, and it's going to be the tile. I'm going to make sure I've got this facing the right direction. The tile goes, okay, here. Oh, I see what you mean. It's going to be trapped in there as part of the... Yeah, so that transmission case um, caused, like, a, like again, it runs down the center of the vehicle. And when you place this in, um, we that tile to... and everything is, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to lay right up flush against the back of that. We are a stud off somehow or... here. Did you snap them together? Because um... the, the two those two pieces should stud together before you put them down. Yeah, these two pieces are together. Yeah, we're one... But we're, like, for some reason, one stud short here. Well, how many studs are showing here? There's a missing one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that seems right. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Unless I put one, something two, on wrong, which is highly... Three, four, highly five, five, oh, I four. see why! Is it? There, is there a hole there? Yeah, there's a hole. Right? Isn't there like a hole that this is supposed to fit in? Yeah, it's supposed to go right underneath the those inverse slopes that you put together very early on. So uh, you really have to take this piece off first. So yeah, this is one of those tricksy areas where you have to tuck it. Un I should make a Here. written note that you have to tuck it underneath. Step well, I think part. it's going to require me to pop this off this and yeah, what i do is i angle it down inside and then that's okay well, i guess we got it yeah now. i was just able to yeah. pop that part off um and then you need to partly pop it up to yeah make that connection right yep there we go trixie there we go you aren't kidding all right there we go trixie hobbitses no no trixie we're, hobbits. Stu it's we're still, still off, off, off somehow I'm not quite sure. We're half a stud oh, now. Hmm. We're half a stud off. Well, let's find I'm out. I'm beginning to wonder if I made the instructions incorrectly. So well, let me see. We're going to go back a step to where we see the car when that piece is inserted. Right. And the two by three goes flush. And you go one, two, three, four, five studs are covered by this. One, two, three, four, five studs. Yes. And you can't see the remaining studs. Right, so we got that. Yeah, I'm not. Also, quite... the the circular the circular uh, one by one plate should be facing toward the front. Oh, should be facing towards the front. Yeah, make sure you check which side is angled and which side is flat in the orientation of when you're putting it down. I thought I I did. There, look, and then and then the flat plate goes out. So it's just this is the part that tucks in. Like this. Oh, okay. All right. Um, my bad. It was. Um, let's. Uh, let me see if I got this right. Did a piece pop off there? So this is the flat end. It's got this and this. You the need a one on by one two side. tile. I see. These got a little mixed up. So look at that. It's even just like a regular show. I screwed everything up because I wasn't paying close enough attention. <laughs> well, we we get the opportunity to look oh, at this it one. In this more is detail. this is one of those areas where yeah, if you slip up just a little bit, the tolerances are incredibly tight. Yes, yeah. which yeah. is you know which is good. Um, and I need a one by two tile for here. Okay, right there. Now I think we're set for success. Yes, very yep. good. There's gonna yeah, there's gonna be tiles and there's gonna be cheeses in some ways that it's oriented. So as you put it together, you'd be really careful which direction you're putting the cheeses in the tile. Now it just fits right in there. Now it should be just fine. There we go. And then we need to put this and back then we'll in. put that back in. And Hooray! it fits perfectly. 
because Moto would never screw up anything. It's that is was absolutely oh, I do. my it's fault. It's just that I, I did all, I made all the mistakes before putting the instructions together. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, look, we're changing colors and doing Ooh, a something. Something gray. Oh my goodness. Uh, there oh, is. Where, someone's asking where in Wisconsin. I grew up in Wausau, Wisconsin. It's in the dead center of the state. So if this is Wisconsin, it's just above the 45th parallel. Like... <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, I'm just like seeing what's going on. Uh, with cows, you smell them before you see them. Well, yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was definitely. true. Yeah, I would say in oh. the, I'd say in, in Nebraska, right. you, do your thing. you, you would smell the feedlot because it was, um, you know, it was, it was cows for, for meat rather than dairy cows. Dairy cows are, it's not that bad. <laughs> They're okay. less concentrated, whereas a feedlot's pretty intense. Let's see. I'm seeing. It's the smell our... of money. That's what they call it. Here's our gray parts, and then it looks like it's calling for two two by two round gray pieces, which I don't see. Well, I got yeah, one so, of them on there already. But I know that we have... Um, yeah, know... so the brackets and the gray as well as the white for those nitro tanks should all roughly, they were all roughly in the same... These all came out of that same bag. So, right, yeah. so but there's also for... some white pieces. There's these... But you're missing one two by two round gray. Uh, two of them actually. No, one I already mounted. Nope. This oh. is just a two by two brick. That's okay. We've got them. Oh no! Wow, Christmas happened. I know. It's like it's, you have to sneak past Christmas here to make this happen. There are definitely worse things. Yep. So what they're putting together right now are the. This is the nitrous oxide tanks okay, that sit on the left hand one. side of the car. And are there two of them, twin ones? They're, yeah, there'll be a pair and they're twins, so, so you can do two at the same time. Got it. So we can the just... one thing Studio doesn't do, it doesn't let you do a 2x. Doesn't let you do a what? Like a 2x. Oh, yeah. So, oh, you, you know, you like do the same instructions twice, up. basically. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's one of those things that you have to kind of put in yourself and do some editing. I, I had to do that when I did my uh, theater thing. It was weird. Yeah, okay. at that at this point of the instructions, I think I was, had been oh. doing this for something like we eight straight days. Those, That's why I'm so like, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> sorry. That's okay. It's okay. But I'm gonna put the I'm gonna go ahead and put these on ahead of time. The little caps. Oh, and they get these. I love these what little light bright things. I think they're so cool. Oh, I wonder we're not little mistaking pegs. a stack of these for a brick, are we? No. About that. Very good. All right. Tank and tank. Because everybody needs tanks of nitrous some in Oops. their car. Because Very why not? Toy. Now at um, <clears throat> thirty, I'm gonna have to go in and check in with work. I'm you know right, right. up against it. Um, but what's well, you can go right now right? if you have to. No, I'm no, sure no. Everyone I, would understand. No, I want to do more of this. Okay, so and then I'll just check at that point. So one tank goes here, and I'm going to assume the other one goes next. And oh, it goes right next to it. Yes. Oh, yeah. And there's going to be a one stud gap uh, between the center console and the tank. Yep, we see that. Yep. yep. All right, there you go. Tanks, tanks awesome. ahoy! Tanks ahoy! <laughs> So and now I guys. believe you're going to start working on the dashboard, which is, this is where there's a couple of noodly things that are going to happen. No All right, we're noodly. okay with noodles. All right. Some of my favorite meals are noodles. So that's, uh, that. is that right? Two, four, six, eight, By the way, 10, you passed 12. the halfway point, I believe. No, nope, Twelve. Almost. Okay. 467. And there's a, a two <laughs> by three. And a uh, Technic brick with hole. Okay, hang on a second here. The two by three plate. I got the two by three plate already. Okay, and a Technic brick with hole. And then a two by two plate. Thank you, Christopher. There we go. Yeah, there's some really amazing uh, parts and build, build things in here that have been really fun. Wedge plates. They're now right here. Those? Right there. And I need the and one right-hand one. Yeah, it goes. 
in case you missed that. Huh? I must have mentioned at one point. <laughs> um, but when we were on Lego Masters, you had to run to the, uh, well, we chose to run to save time, to the brick pit. And if mm -hmm. I was getting an angled plate, you better Two get the right plate. direction. Because you go all the way back to the table and have the or, wrong direction. Yeah, or oh, get yeah. both just to be safe, right, as a pair. Well, I, yeah, I started grabbing both sides just in case. You kind of had to, right? You like, And you got the other side, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. And then one by twos. Oh, three of these. Yeah, three cheeses. Three cheeses. And then the same trick again. Yes, yeah, so it was just me singing three cheeses to the tune of Dreamweaver. <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> I and I apologize to everybody for that wow. horrible, that horrible, horrible mistake. What's it like? I'm imagining. I used to sing that song was. every time the developers would open that Adobe app because they used Dreamweaver <laughs> to d design web stuff back in the day. Sorry, what were you saying? Every time what? they open it, I just go Dreamweaver. <laughs> <laughs> There's gray and ones too. One by, oh, okay. You take care of the gray. Um. Um. And I will get a one by one. Uh, one by one what? Those are all in here. Oh, there's a bag of them. Yeah. Here we go. I, d I don't see the gray ones, though. It's okay, though. Oh, right here. Look. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and you need another one of those? Yes, and another one. There. Yeah, they said you're in tune, at least. Uh, yes, Flynn is in tune. If you've ever heard Flynn sing with with uh, Boone or anybody, he's he's definitely in tune. I am not. <laughs> he's a good singer. He's a good singer. I've heard him sing harmonies. I've heard you sing a lot. Harmonies are hard. I gotta say, um, we need another gray one. As another well. gray with a Ooh. another gray loop. Ooh, tricks. Yeah. So there's some there's some metal flanges that are that just don't hold anything on the left side of the car. Uh huh. So what's nuts is I wound up staring at these production photos oh. of the interior of the of the vehicle in order to get every little thing kind of placed down and movie accurate. Wow, that's um, but that yeah, is those some gray, dedication. Yeah, those moto. gray things are two metal, um, like pipe flange things that would hold bottles or something, but there's nothing in them. They're just empty. Oh, uh, got it. And then you're gonna come to the weird mannequin head soon. The weird napkin? Mannequin. mannequin? Oh, the mannequin. The mannequin I thought you said the weird napkin. Oh, did you already pull that off to the side? Yeah, he's got um, like this weird what? toy surfer dude looking head on his dashboard, which I never really understood, but it's there. Yeah, so. the the mannequin head, Flynn. Yeah. It must have it's been... It's in the bag with the big fig, right over there, by my, by my side. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Ugh, right there. All right. I dog. love the head. It makes me laugh. All right, so head we makes need me laugh too. a two by four. Very good, and a yellow. Yeah, we've got the hair and the head. We just no, what need is the. That? That's the hair. Oh, I we see. We just, just need the plastic. yellow one by one. Is it in there? Nope. There should be. There's a that's bag that has some place. like tan things in it. Maybe. No, this is all black. Here we go. Yep. Yellow one by one. Da 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 da. Oh, yeah, you're getting yellow should stick out like a sore thumb. Because yeah. I think it's a few yellow pieces. <laughs> Amongst all that black. There we go. And a head. <laughs> Look easy. I love that we have to put the head on upside down. That makes me laugh. Um, that is like this. Does it go? It goes flush right up against here, right? Uh oh. More jumping. There we go. All right. And then we're gonna put that aside. We've got a two by two plate, a jumper plate. Okay, I'm gonna warn you guys. This is where uh, the connections are gonna get really delicate and really um, squirrely. I can see that. Okay. I can see the little perspective so business. It's not uncommon that as you put the stuff into the dashboard, you have to kind of squiggle it into place, but also stuff might pop off as you assemble it, and it does okay. get a bit frustrating. Okay, so is this a t is this a tile? Oh, two by two tile. Oh yeah. Uh, no, it, it's a uh, it's a tile with a clip on the back. It's like oh, a, oh here, give me that. it's going it, to really it, have it, a computer exactly. screen printed on it. It's the computer display screen. 
Oh, oh yes. Oh yes, I saw that. Uh, I saw but that they earlier. Yeah, they weren't able to. There it is. Bricklink wasn't able to show that it was a printed computer screen tile. But I got to add that as a call out in the step. That's it's the cool. same as a little bit later on. You're going to be using some printed pieces. I love the. I love this. Um, the little computer screen is awesome. Yeah, and it's actually in the car. It actually had a computer display in there, which is weird. So it goes on the so faucet. So ridiculous. There we go. Yep. And then and you got to angle put it. this here, and the screen gets angled at 45. Uh oh. Uh oh. Like I said, it's gonna to want to fall apart on you. That's okay. You get... I'm not, I'm I'm used to that from my own models. <laughs> yeah, the str the struggle is real. Yes, it is. Okay, here we go. It goes like this. So this is one area in particular that I wrote that note that said if you get stuck or if you get frustrated, just put it down for a while and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> put it down. Gently. Or I'll just call you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moto, what's going on with this? I'm on step 491. What were you thinking? <laughs> and a one by three brick, it looks like. No, I'm I'll not... say, Flynn, do you have any eyelash glue? It might be time Over for here. eyelash glue. I do. I, um, I do have eyelash glue, of course. So that's a great hint for the chat. Um, if you want non-permanent um, glue that won't ruin your brick, you can use eyelash glue for many what? place. Yep. Are you serious? Who knew? Yep. Oh, my worlds are colliding. <laughs> That's funny. That was that was something that Iceberg Mel told me, and I'm passing it along to you. Really? Yep. It's wow. water based. All right. His eyelashes. Look eyelash really glue is not realistic. Something. I was say eyelash glue is not something I would have thought um, Iceberg would be um, knowing a lot about. But you know, there you go. I don't know. He okay. does have good eyebrows, so it makes me wonder. I was it's gonna <laughs> say his... <laughs> very convincing. It's the one by one round with a hole. Yeah, I got it. No, the minute he said it, because I use it for cosplay for making scars, is I, yeah. I, I oh, use yeah. eyelash glue on my skin and I let it harden and then I split it and color it up. Oh, it's better um, than spirit gum. Ugh. Oh, no, no. Stay away from spirit gum. Is that oh, just a yeah, regular dot? It's with a hole. And we're also bad. So, yeah. Uh, as you go through steps 492 on, this is where it gets really gnarly. Um, it's, and on step 497, those are printed pieces. You're going to use the printed gauge tiles. Oh, of, good. Well, I'm glad you were okay. here because I wouldn't have known. I would have been very confused. Now, I've lost my bag of one by ones with holes in them. Uh, fortunately, I have ours right here. It's a nice oh, yeah, thing about. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna start using a bunch of Apollo studs. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a bunch here, right, right by me. All right. Okay. A so lot. now we need a corner piece, <laughs> and then those two printed tiles uh, of which he is speaking. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna have the gauge patterns printed on them. And I believe I put all the printed pieces together in one bag. Very cool. Yep. All right, so it hooks onto this little guy here. Now, what printed piece is it again? It's a one by two gray tile and a one by one gray tile. Now, which yeah. I'm not quite sure which direction to put them in to make them come out correctly, but I can fix um, that. They they go exactly the way you think with the gauge needles pointing upward. Oh, okay. <clears throat> is that right? No, that's upside down. No. Ga gauge Look, needles are. Number. Oh, you're right. Let me check. Okay. Now I have to work with the model. There's a little number readout on it. Okay, so we got another one of these. You have the faucet, right? Yeah, so the one by one is going to go from green on the left to red on the right. Green on the left. Well, just like a temperature gauge, you would like you'd think. And the other one is... Oh, maybe yeah. we have the wrong tile. I don't see green and... Oh, see. wait, maybe I don't. I need a flashlight to see this better. Maybe there's no color, but yeah, the needles, the needles are. Oh, I, well, let's see. You didn't need a square. You needed a round, right? So the one I see has like a bad just... utility belt on the middle of it. Oh yeah, no, this is a square. You're right. I just put that on. Because... Yeah. The, the top one by one, it has a red danger warning and that yeah, goes yeah, to the lower right. It. And the other one has the larger gauge to the left and the yes. two little gauges in the like upper that? Right. No, he said larger gauge to the left. Uh -uh. At least that's how I put it in. Yeah, like that. So it's yeah, two dials above one another. And I was pointing it out, going, "Look, it says uh, eighteen or you know twenty-eight, but it was actually eighty-two because what car would go twenty-eight? 
I mean, really. Um, yeah, especially when it's kilometers per hour, that'd be really exactly. Slow. <laughs> is there another? Is there a white one by one round uh, tile? I've got one. Okay, and then um, okay. So here's our tile. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, there was. I believe the white tiles are just white. They're not printed or anything. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Okay, so we've got and then this. We some we've got this. Oh wow. Okay, this is get this is some serious fitting here. We're yeah, gonna put gonna... this little noodle here, right? Then we're gonna put this here with the um the corner piece underneath. This is some Will tricky... you show that up close? Yeah, check it out. Yeah, just wait, you're gonna lay one more piece in. It's gonna get even worse. Oh my goodness. Alright. <laughs> <A curve. laughs> Oh, wow. This is some crazy stuff here. All right. Getting another one of those with a hole in it. Oh, with some angulation. With some... Did you just make up a word? Maybe. <laughs> no, yeah, I know what you meant. You do. You, you have to You have to uh, turn it at an angle in order to set it in place. Okay. Oh, and these are all... This these way. are all... They're yeah. all set in with taps, which is not the strongest clutch in the world either. Right. To make it even worse. Well, fortunately, once they're all in... Um, they're really protected there, and it's unlikely that. Uh... No, not so much. <laughs> okay, so here's the trick: it's all really good as long as you're very careful and delicate until you set the dashboard into the car itself. Got if you've it. done something just a little bit off, it might pop a piece, and then you have to take it apart and try again. All right. Wow, now, that's looking good. Okay, so the curve is skinny on the bottom, and then you're flipping yep. it over. This way. So it's skinny on the top. Wait, I feel like I'm missing something. Look. Oh, I see. Like this. Yeah, skinny on the top. All right, there we go. I think I got it in there. Can you compress yep, anything? Good. Now, are these supposed to be... No, it looks like we might be missing a piece on the top because it's not going to press in all the way. I feel like maybe there's another... Well, look, this was just a one by three with nothing on it. Is that correct? Is this, this looks yeah. right? Yeah, only the brick is going to stud in. The taps are just going to lay flush. So when you oh, press but... it, make sure you're pressing the brick side and not the tap side. Got it, got it, Otherwise, got it. That's what I did, and then I thought maybe I was wrong. It. All right. Nope. If you do it the other way, you'll shatter it, and you'll have to start over. No shattering, please. And then that, but if we do that, then the two by three plate is a, plate recessed from the 2x2 two two plate, and it doesn't show that this way here. Oh, yeah. Got it. It goes back. Yeah, th so this, uh, the, so the instructions show that these two should be flush, the 2x2 two two plate upside down and the 2x3 plate next to it are supposed to be at the same height, but ours are not. It seems like we're missing a plate on top of the yeah, maybe there's... Or maybe in this. That well, if you right. put the Apollo stud in between the middle of the 2x2 two two bow, that curved slope before you put the tap in, the math should have worked out or... Mm. Yeah, Either that or my seems... digital model might be off. It's okay if it's off by a little, guys. Yeah, there's, I, there's, do we I have feel a like we're missing plate? a plate. Let's see if that works. I don't think you're missing anything. It looks good to me. Let's see. Well, we don't want to add something and then have it. Be well, I just wrong. want to make. Yeah, I want to make sure that we like maybe we missed something in in the middle yeah, here. Yeah, it in doesn't that hurt. Under you, you, oh, by the yes, way, you should... there's a two by four plate that's supposed to be there. Yeah, two double by... check before you proceed because once you get that dash on it, it's dickens to get it off again. Okay. Yeah, I think we were just we were missing a little support plate here in the center, uh, underneath the. There we go. That's what I'm That's talking it. about. That was the issue. There we go. Now everything works. Look at that. Okay, good. Uh oh. Come here, smiley. I don't want to miss the smiling face. <laughs> okay. Now so we're caught up. Now we're caught up. It's gonna have us turn it over. Okay, I'm gonna have to step aside for a minute here. Okay, if you need to, if you need to go, that's okay. I'll, ch I'll check it out. Yeah. So Flynn, as you're building this next uh, couple steps. Sorry, what was that, Mona? Yeah. So you're at, you're gonna be adding to this dashboard 
quite a bit before you set it into the model. Okay. If you ever have to set it down or hold it, you just want to keep your fingers away from those front panels that you put on because they are very delicate. Oh, uh, okay. Accidentally, yeah. And then as um, as we learned while we were making um, uh, Snake Queen is squeeze, don't push. Oh yeah, yeah. You got to pinch. You got to pinch these together. Not squeeze, don't push. Yeah. All right. Or press, don't push, whatever you want to say. But yeah, don't go. <laughs> yeah. We've definitely. Hello, Grieveling Wizard. What was that? Oh, Grieveling Wizard was saying hi. Hello. Oh, hey, how's it going? All right, here we go. Um... Oh, Cowboy Coronado changed his name. Hey, the Grieveling Wizard. To what? No, nothing personal pocket dialing Cowboy Coronado. Oh, Cowboy. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Do we love you? We do love you. There's no no hard feelings. All right. So... I love this. These Everybody in the chat is trying to come up with uh, a vehicle that would be really cool to mock build. Yes. And... They're giving me all sorts of just bad ideas, like the Nautilus. Um, Wait, are you talking about the Nautilus, like the... Um, the submarine. From, oh, yeah. that's, well, that would be a pretty sweet model. That was, like, the Disney version of the of the Nautilus I always thought was so cool. Yeah, so they're coming, they're getting, you know, the Blues Brothers, Blues, the Bluesmobile, yeah, that would be cool. Um, just a ton of great ideas coming through. The dog truck from Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> <laughs> What about um, Dale's bug uh, car from King of the Hill? Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, the bug car. <laughs> With the giant dead bug on the top of yeah. it. Yeah. So silly. All right. I think I'm doing pretty good here. I'm not I'm not pressing too hard. Squeeze, don't press. Some squeezing, not pressing. So I have to tell you, one of the... Did you hit a hiccup anywhere along the line yesterday? Mm -hmm. Or Okay. Oh no no no! I was just gonna I was gonna talk about um, my unfortunate circumstance that happened yesterday. Um, so I you know I've talked about getting this um, 3D printer for Christmas, which I was really excited about. It's like my my gift from Richard. Right, right. Um, and it arrived yesterday. Oh good. And, which was exciting, except oh, wait, for the butt. fact. Oh no. That. It was, it had been used. So somebody set it up, used it. I think maybe it fell off the table it was on because it was broken and there were a bunch of pieces missing. So I had How to send that... it back. Yeah. So I had to send it back. And so that's why I'm, I was really bummed because I was going to print some stuff out for some, um, for some gifts and I wasn't able to do that. It made me really sad. But, you know, all in all... Uh, that's why I think I so I super super appreciated this morning's um, wonderful cascade of gifts. It really um, um, it really helped uh, you know yeah, cheer me up. It uh, who needs it a three D printer? Removes, I've got awesome stuff from friends. Yeah, it removes the sting just a touch. Oh, a lot <laughs> for sure. <laughs> that's um, sad. Okay, let's see. I am tiles, tiles, tiles. Osorg asked a question. I'm always learning new techniques whenever I do a new build. What's the next technique I want to challenge myself with? Hmm. Uh, what do you think? I have an idea, but I can't say right now. Sorry, you're, not al you're not allowed? Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Not yet. Not yet. One day. One of these days. One of these days. It's one of these things where I don't know if it'll come to fruition. So unless I'm certain, I don't want to say anything. Well, that's I think that's right? that is uh, fair and it's a fair a, thing to um, do. A prudent way to move forward. <laughs> yeah, I learned early that unless something's a certainty, you really shouldn't say anything about it. Yeah. Um, let me see. Here we go. Um. Oh, is it? Grieveling Wizard says, I don't eat hot dogs, but it would be neat to make an Oscar <laughs> Mayer Wiener Mobile mock. 
Oh, so funny story. I, I've seen the Wienermobile around, you know, uh, road trips and stuff or coming through the area. I found an Oscar, I found a Wiener. I drove past a Wienermobile that had slid into a ditch. What? And yeah, so the, the Wienermobile like had a flat tire or something happened and it drove off the road and went into a ditch. And we had to slow down because um, we were going to try to call for assistance or something because they're, they're going to need like an epic tow truck to get that thing out because of the weird shape and all that. That's um, crazy. Yeah, so they do have accidents, it turns out. But yeah, I just happened to be there after it had had an accident. But the um, what do you call a Wienermobile drive? I mean, there's got to be a, a name for the Wienermobile professionals, the drivers. <laughs> but anyway, they were just waving me on. They had already, I guess, phoned for assistance in whatever fashion they do when you crash a winter mobile i love that i love that moto there there has to be some <laughs> some technical term for for wiener mobile drivers <laughs> oh whoops hi no problem You're back. hi i am back and and you know what boom would know because he interviewed a wiener mobile professional he actually what? went into the wiener yeah so if you go way back on boone's channel he interviewed. He did an interview inside the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile with the with the, I don't know the Wienermobile. No, like those are tech. I forget what they're called. Pilot technician. I don't know. Oh, that boon. You Dog know, jockey. Thank you, Brickworm. Yeah. What was it? Dog jockey. Dog that jockey. Like okay. That sounds like the real name. Yeah. Um. Oh. Yeah. Right, I can't so. imagine Tony. The problem with the Wienermobile is it's so low to the ground. You you can't use a you can't use a standard tow. You have to get it up onto a flatbed and then lift it. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, it didn't look like it was going to be a good day for the dog jockey. You, you know, the car mock I want to make is the stair car. Oh, from, from, yeah. from the Arrested Development? Yeah, the Arrested Development airport stair car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that would be a good one. That would be a good one. <clears throat> you okay. can park it next to the banana stand. So this funky little slow, like, kind of... Or... What's oh, funny is the, the Russell brothers yeah. put that car into the airport battle scene in Captain America: Civil War. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, so if you look at the airport battle scene, the the that that uh that car is in the background as Ant Man and all those guys are fighting it out. Which is <laughs> I mean, I wonder if that was a purposeful. Uh, oh, it was. You reference. know, they totally did that. That's they totally good. did that because they worked on Arrested Development. So why wouldn't they? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, yeah. Got it. That's too good. I love when they when they put stuff like that in there. Oh, you know. What? Okay, so here. Justin this... Ramsden, I tried my hardest to sneak it in the Lego set. Sad face. <laughs> <laughs> <I knew. laughs> Yay, Man, Justin! You, he could have he could have snuck a blue sticker in for for all of us, right? If he had pulled it off. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. All right, so here, just just a reminder of how far we are along with this. <laughs> Hi, Justin. Awesome car. Hi, Justin. Welcome. Very good. Uh -huh. Oh, and this speaking is of, me feel um, really weird. They're putting to, Justin. They're putting together a thing I designed, and now I'm feeling really. Oh yeah. Here, here, let me show it to this camera. Oh, here. and so everybody, don't forget There's the dash. Also, uh, don't forget also that Monday, um, we are going to be having Lego designer Mel Caddick is going to be here. Yes. She's amazing Lego designer who designs a ton of the exclusive um, exclusive sets that you can some of which you can only get in Billund, uh, and we're really really excited to have her on. And of course, the amazing Holly set that all up. I just wanted to take a second here. Um, what stuff you want? Some tiles. Just give me a second to show anyone. This is our page, right? Yep. Five thirty nine. Okay. To, for anyone Jeez, who didn't holding. see what we're working on. That is what we're building. Here, let's take the shininess off. De there we go. Yeah. Designed, built, and graphically presented by Moto. So, super fun. Yeah, now I'm getting nervous because Justin's here. <laughs> <laughs> let's get those tiles. Two by two. You got like, you got a Four two by two uh, sure. black tiles. Okay. That are going to go on these carefully placed snot pieces. And I am going Season to. Season springs to you as well, Justin. Again, squeeze, not press. Squeeze, not press. Oh, and you get to use, uh, you're coming up on 546? Um, we're a few um, steps away from that. Yep. We are at 537 right now. 
And then we need a stick. There's two. So Richard, you're going to get to use the modified grill soon. Oh, cool. Oh, exciting. Yeah. It's coming up. All right, we have those uh, wedge plates. Uh, and here's these. Wedge plates I had. No, I had everything all. No, I know, but we, we, <laughs> used, we used a bunch of wedge plates. Are you sure you don't have them over there? Mm-hmm. Okay. They're not in here, here, none of these. And here's that special Brickworm, I don't know if you can see, but I've been wrapping presents today. This is about half of them. You must have them. <laughs> Brickworm was talking about wrapping presents. Yeah, I've Are been... Are you sure you don't have them over there? <laughs> wrapping, opening Amazon boxes and wrapping this stuff because wanted wanted smaller director to have uh, to have his gifts all wrapped. Oh, they're oh there they are, look. Hey, that... Hinkle, Very I'm good. wearing your pin today. Who, Thank you for the pen? pin, Mr. Hinkle. Oh, Mr. Hinkle right. oh he's, uh, yeah. Kevin's here too. Awesome. Yeah. This is exciting. Wow. Again, a star-studded uh, a star-studded chat. Love that. All right, here we go. Getting. <laughs> I think that's an eight. I think it's an eight. I think you're right. Oh, I am. S wow, Moto, this is some fancy footwork here. Yeah, where'd you get to? All right, no, I was just like we're you were. You were correct when you were saying to uh, you know about the being careful. Yeah, yeah. About you know the squeeze don't press rule. Yeah, you're starting to get. You're, and then yeah, a six. You, you, you're kind of uh, you're laying tiles probably around all that since this place. It's the grills you have to watch out for. Yeah, it's the well. I mean, I gotta say this construction, while delicate, is is genius. I mean, look at this, y'all. And then the so the Technic brick with hole will be for the steering column, right? Correct. This you're gonna business. have to thread the column through. Yeah. This is so cool. Well, so did your design and construction of this model slow way down when you got to the dash? Yep. Because that's some that's some <laughs> careful, tricky business. Um, and I'm gonna guess we need another tile. Yep. Yes. Another two by two tile, and then we're gonna get a, a few one by one tiles. Okay. Now. When you put this assembly on, this is one thing where the instructions make it look like it's going to work, but it might not. So this is where <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this is where, yeah, this is where you guys are going to QA for me because I don't know if you can put the this the axle through the steering column and set it down at the same time. Well, I was wondering about that, but fortunately, oh, because we're going to cover over all that, aren't we? Yeah. What's going to be what, so? What's going to be really nuts is once you get that dash together. Mm -hmm. It's going to perfectly slot in coming down from above, but the problem is that axle for the steering is something you have yes. to put on sliding it forward. Right. So that's where I don't know if there's enough play in that, um, in that, uh, what do I want to say, that, that CV joint. Understood. Yeah. Oh, the, uh, the universal joint? Yeah, to do a forward slide and a, a top-down insert at the same time. Well, fortunately, there's two three more universal joints there, so we might get in luck. Yeah, I thought I thought in my head it would work, but this is one of those Apollo-type things where at 555, five, five, <laughs> it, it might not come together, but we're going to find out. We will find out. We are going to find out live on the air. We'll yep. find out if... And then here, the... Specially modified, although this would be a great new brick. <laughs> specially modified M for moto half half a grill. grill. Half a grill. I've got half a grill. No. Alright, so we need a What's oh. funny is the two cars I've always ever made instructions for both use this half grill technique for the air inlet in order to accommodate a windshield wiper. It's just Got it. Yeah, now it's just this... something I do. That we're gonna have to find because I did have I had oh those with clips that yesterday. right uh, okay, yeah and the so... way you put that half grill down matters um, I think you have to put the open ended side what is it toward toward, toward the, the front of the car or away from the away from the dash in order to hold it in uh, if you, put, well, right. you know what I mean if it's on the other end it'll just fall off. Oh, well, it's, let me see, the open end is towards the back of the car right now, and the closed yes. end makes a um, flush front with the rest of the grills. 
did it stay on? Yeah, it's on for right now. Okay, good, good. Yeah, that's that's the way that looks better. So if it stays on, leave it like that. Yeah, because it does look better when you have that clean, fresh, ed flush edge aligned up with the rest of, now, of the grills. We just now, clip bar. we do have a little problem in that we are uh, at a shortage of one by one black one by one squares with a clip on it. Um, really, I didn't put enough in there, huh? Uh, I, I, yeah, I had some trouble finding them. I pulled a bunch okay. from our collection, and that's as far as I got. So I'm afraid this is going to have to be gray for now, just for now. Yeah, or just make it hot orange or something. That, what I always do is I use a color that's so obscene, it'll annoy me enough to always replace it later. So yes. Like there, you go. there you go. Like a lime green or a blaze orange or like a bright pink or something. And I'm assuming this goes in that spot by the grill. Yeah, you're making windshield wipers right now. Oh. What? If you and your... <laughs> that is ridiculous. Okay, so we're going to yep. need one more of those. Ridiculous. Look at that. What? Yep, so there's one windshield wiper down, and then you're going to put another one in. Wow, I can't... That's nuts. No, no. Yep, it's you just a little, it's a little four by... Uh, lightsaber uh, bar element into one of those new uh, you know hinge I don't know what to call them they're really cool hinge clip and bar yeah the, the thing with a clip and a receiver for a lightsaber yep and then you um, just put it into a vertical clip element oh there it is go. look it was hiding the little bar yeah all right and I'll use the same the same color <laughs> on this one so at least they match Chris I like and Jaden Chalice contact customer support they should send replacements <laughs> <laughs> I would if I could. I thought I counted everything, but you know. One eight hundred moto. One eight hundred moto. That's not a real phone number, by the way. <laughs> what was I say they, they wouldn't get very far with that one. I don't think. One eight hundred get moto. Okay. <laughs> get motivated. There you go. It, oh, so yeah, step moto, five 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 is where we test the local physics. That's right. Oh boy. All right, everybody. Um, let's move this out of the uh, way. Oh, here we go. Moment. Triple five. This is a this is going to be a delicate is, operation. Yeah, this is a this is a this is the main motor assembly of the rocket. Don't touch go. the sides, butterfingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Everything's been building up yeah, to this here, point. I'll let you do it. Do we need tweezers? We might need long no, tweezers. No. Or yeah, however you're going to get it in there, get to it in there. To hold the axle. Okay, up. so I see how it goes, how it sits in. And I just want to show everybody there's this um, that this gap here, yeah, right? And I had I was um, formerly curious about how that gap would be filled, and I see so now. So that gap is going to get closed by the descending elements of this dashboard. So if you hold the dashboard up, yep. So yeah, that is a legit crazy snot technique to have downward facing elements that close a gap. Snot math. Uh, yep. Okay. Bunch so, of tiles. Oh, you know I know the trick. Let's, what is it? Oh, we can't. I was going to say, well, if we could temporarily put a longer axle on there, then we could do it, but we can't. So no. I think tweezers Yeah, this is one of those there. weird things where you might have to just thread the axle very gently through the first and then the second as you descend it in. Yeah, that, I may... am uns... Let's see. Well, we can't take the axle... Well, it's hard because there's a full... There's like a plate here that... Um... Yeah, the only other thing you, you can do is... Um, take off the uh, Technic bricks from the dash and attach them from underneath at a, at a later step. Oh, I see. Well, what, what you're about saying. what if? I mean, no way. We can't do that. Well, I think the double, um, the universal joint. I think the universal joint. Okay, just wait. Doesn't wait, have wait. enough. Doesn't wait, have wait. Enough. Maybe. Did you do it? Nope. <laughs> okay, here. Catheter. Oh Good my job. goodness, no. That's, he's going to take a force to. Is that? No, it doesn't want to go. There we go. I think he got it. Did I drop it? Oh, uh, no. I just dropped. Oh, I see what happened. Oh, maybe we just do that. Just do that's, that. That's what Moto was suggesting. That's, that is what Moto was suggesting. Yeah, we should I, just yeah unsure. take off the Technic brick and just snap it from underneath once you get the main dash down. I'll change the instructions. OK. Something's not lining up. Okay, hang on one second, everybody. We've got this, I think. Okay, so that other brick is going to sit down in front. This is in the... 
this goes back here. There we go. I think I'm I've sort of got it. Oh my goodness. All right, we're doing it. Yeah. <clears throat> and I, I just like gotta tell you this something. is I gotta tell you this is super nerve wracking. <laughs> well, it this is probably one of the Okay, hang on. I'd say this is the most difficult assembly in the vehicle. Something there's one that's pretty close to this at uh, kind of toward the end. Got it. But it's not nearly as like like if you mess up you can recover Oops. really easily. This one if you oh, mess up and you parts start falling off, it's it's a pain to get everything back together. Um hang on before you put it on. This may be. This may have to just happen off camera. <laughs> yeah. Here, wait. We dropped. We lost this one. Let me get my big hands out of here. But look, I've got the Technic brick held in place here. Um, yeah. What I I think the best thing to do is you slide the Technic brick down on the axle, and then you put the dashboard in place, and then you come back later, and you very carefully uh, attach it from the bottom side up. Right. Well, but you have to like get on the floor and stare upwards. It's really not fun. So you got to go further towards the front of the car. There. It's... There's something popping something in. I wonder. Is not oh, I see. To that here. needs to be angled more. What does that, that? The computer screen. Okay. Yeah, and you have to check the computer screen angles and all the Ooh. other elements that we you may have just switched together. Got it. Almost if you did. There. Oh. There you go. Something went. Something, yeah, it went. Now I just have to. Now we just have to connect it. Make the connection. Uh oh. All right, I'm gonna turn it around here. Arg. Yeah, we may end tricky. up doing this off the air and, yeah, and coming just, back because we'll we come could back with we it. could be at this for a while. Yeah, this is one of those. And people wonder why I don't make instructions for a lot of my models. No, Flynn, look, you're This off one rates here, like a three out of seven. Okay. I'd say, a th no, this one's tricky at around a level four. Well, I'm going to call, I think we should just call yeah. this at the moment because now uh, I have to. Yeah, you're going to have to fiddle a lot with it to get it where it needs to go. We're going to yeah. go in super careful, super focus mode. For exactly. That. That's quite all right. And then um, once you get past that, uh, read the text diligently if you keep proceeding. I will. Uh, because you need to place the figure in the car before you put the steering wheel on. Very that's good. That's another step that's called out in the in text, but not in uh, drawings, because the Technic figure yeah, doesn't exist in Bricklink. Okay, well, I'm going to go here. But, you know, it's you actually see almost before you do. Oh, oh so what did you, what's that? Go back and... Oh, that thing, the pew pew came off. But you can... Oops. You can start right. to see there's the dash mm -hmm. stuck in there. Very cool. And we're going to save these pieces for when we do this later. Yeah, and we'll be back when we come back on um, we'll be back on Sunday, of course, with our group chat. And we will uh, be able to show you some more progress with, uh, sure. with sure. how far yeah. we've gotten with this. Moto, this is again, um, you know. So the math is cool, but once again, this is not a Lego set. This is something where it, you are going to have to struggle through a couple places to get it together. No, I mean I know what that's like. Like I did a, um, I actually did um, a build for a class, and yeah. the roof was, you know, a tricky to put on. I will say yeah. that. Like I, you know, I managed it to get it on pretty easily, and it was one of those things where either you would try it and it would immediately work like just pop right in or you would have to struggle with it but i had to laugh because i taught a um a class with that kit and we all put it together and when we got to the roof i was really nervous because i knew it was kind of hard to put on it was a clip and bar thing mm -hmm. but everybody in the room all of the adults were like oh this is really Oh, I'm having a really hard time with this. Can you show me? And I was like going around, like showing people. And the one kid in the room who was like 12 was like, boop, boop. Oh, this is great. I finished mine already. And he like finished the whole thing an hour before everyone else and left. He was all like, this was great. You know, my dad, my dad's a fisherman. And uh, that's, that's, that's the perfect, that's exactly what happens when he's teaching fly fishing classes too is, 
you know, the novice I person always... who's learning their first fly casting techniques, they always get the fish like bang, bang, bang. Yeah. And people are in the moderate class are struggling to get to get something on the line. It's just the way well, it goes. We will definitely get. Well, um, I'll noodle yeah. with this a little bit off camera, so um, I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. It's so fun building this with you, Moto. How yes. awesome to say, well, what did you mean by this thing? Or how cool is that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to be here and provide a little bit of commentary and hopefully a little bit of you might want to be careful at this point and things like that. So. Well, not to mention just how completely wonderful it was for you to do this in the first place. To yeah. Take your oh, yeah. Really fun model and then share it in this way is great. Yeah, no problem. No uh, problem. Although I'm glad you guys enjoy it. I would change one thing about it. Yep. Um, it says ages 10 and up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, it might it might have yeah. the word expert on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I think this I'm, is a, I'm probably going to upgrade that to what do you guys think? 16, I'll, 18? I don't know. Maybe you need I to be 10. I think just creator expert is good. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. 10. What are those ages? I'm not sure. Plus? I'll have to take a Weren't look. they 16 and up? 16, I think. Well, I like the idea that a 10-year-old would sit down and do this, you know, just lickety split. <laughs> no. Exactly. No, uh, yeah, it was more of a tongue-in-cheek joke uh, where um, the reason I put, so someone's asking, why does it say 10 plus? And the reason is um, small art director is not yet 10, but when he, when he once he turns 10, uh, this is going to be a birthday thing to put together. With oh, oh, how awesome. Very fun. Um, but yeah, the realistic age, when we get the instructions finalized and you guys give me the notes, I'm going to definitely upgrade it to uh, 16 plus, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Bye. a good idea. Bye, Joel yeah. Marbella. Bye, Joel. Um, so... I just wanted to... So before we go, um, we will be back on Sunday with our group chat. And then Monday, we have Mel, uh, Mel Caddick on the show. And maybe that following Wednesday, we'll do a follow-up show. That's our last Wednesday, our last show of 2020. Mm -hmm. um, we will uh, come back to the to the Interceptor. Um, yeah, with, and once you get past the dash, the only other tricky part uh, you're going to get to is putting the roof, assembling the roof onto the car. Got okay. it. Okay. But... But it's not, I mean, it's just one of these things that you, it's not nearly as nasty as that dashboard. You've, really got, you've, got, you've, got, you've kind of gotten through the, the But it's brilliant thing. fitting, I have to say. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. bye, Mr. Elmo Man. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to take this opportunity to say thanks, everybody, so much for I, joining I, us today. I want to say one thing before sure. that, Sure. Um, the thing I want to say is everyone who sent stuff for the holidays, you know, opening boxes on air and getting everything on camera is a whole set of challenges on its own. But we're going to just pour over those things and yeah. build the sets. We'll build the sets on the air and just love the art and, and everyone's thoughtful cards. And so if it seemed like we went quick, we're going to spend a lot of time with those. And we're just so appreciative. Yeah, it was um, it was incredible. Thank you. Um, thank you, Tricky Lug. Um, thank you to everybody out there who sent something in. Thank you to everybody who comes here um, each week and joins us and and creates a wonderful part of this community we super we super super appreciate it it's a special thing it, absolutely and and to to everybody um out there i know um everybody celebrates differently whatever it is however you're doing your um you know however you are celebrating your holiday uh, please enjoy it have a wonderful time we uh we will miss seeing you all on friday but we look forward to seeing you all on sunday um, so until uh, we see you Sunday at 10 a.m., I just wanted to say Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Hanukkah, which I believe might be over already. Um, hopefully not, but, so I apologize. Diwali, um, have you, Kwanzaa, um, yeah, Diwali solstice. Happy Kwanzaa, Solstice, whatever and your everything holiday we don't may know be about. on all the winter holidays. Um, and until we see you uh, on Sunday, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, have a marvelous holiday, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone.